Parts of Birmingham City Centre are currently undergoing major redevelopment. To assist with this redevelopment, Murphy's surveys have been commissioned by St Joseph's property developers to carry out an underground survey of the main sewers and drains that lay beneath the site. Entry to the sewer was located in a grass verge and the exit was found 450 metres away in the middle of a construction site. Both locations required signs to be in place in accordance with Chapter 8 of the Street Works Manual. All work had to be carried out at night as other contractors were on site during the day. The survey was required to allow for accurate location of the underground utilities to allow for the precise foundation work of any new buildings. IWJS were commissioned to assist Murphy Surveys team with the underground 3D scan and to provide rescue if necessary. Following intensive research and coordination of the relevant bodies, an underground traverse was planned by the end of May 2018. A meeting of all contractors was arranged before commencement of the work to go through the risk assessments and method statements. 25 members of staff were required for a safe traverse through the sewer. A run through of the methods was carried out and duties were explained and jobs allocated. Emergency procedures were outlined and hand signals were explained in case of verbal communication breakdown. A question and answer session was chaired to resolve any issues. Following the meeting, the teams then went out to site to set up and prepare for the underground traverse. Before access was gained, the tripods and winches were set up, breathing apparatus was tested, gas monitors checked and installed and radios tested. A site-specific risk assessment was written up and explained and signed for on the night. The survey equipment was assembled. The scanner was tested. And an initial scan produced. Final adjustments were made to the gas monitors and cameras. The manhole cover was removed and the first men lowered into place. The sewer was 15 metres below the surface and there were three chambers that had to be manned. Gas monitors were checked and the survey team entered the sewer. The scanner was lowered, set up and the survey was underway. The scan was made every 10 metres. After 200 metres were completed, the team at the other end entered the sewer to meet the survey team and to accompany them for the final stretch.
After four hours on the ground, the traverse was completed and the team finally reached the surface. Equipment was removed and packed away. A quick debrief and congratulations all round and a group photograph was taken. The scans were then checked. Another survey successfully completed.